The process of finding, manipulating and storing samples for use in your own compositions can be a critical element when defining your sound. In this video, we'll be looking at how to multi-sample a real instrument and at the various ways to organize, tag, manipulate and save your very own sample libraries. To illustrate this, we'll be creating a very basic sampled guitar instrument. Let's get started. With the multi-sampler open, click on record and you're taken to the capture window. Click on the bottom left icon and select System Input. With this enabled, the multi-sampler will record any sound coming into your system. Next, click on the icon in the top right. This opens up the scratch pad where we'll save our sounds as they are captured. Let's start by sampling a single note. Simply click the record button to start and stop recording. With the note captured, we can adjust the start and end points of the sample. Once we have only the waveform selected, we can click the truncate button to delete unwanted audio and bring the note into focus. Let's click the play button to ensure everything sounds OK. We'll now go ahead and save this note to the scratch pad. I'll name this C as that was the note I played. Click OK and you'll notice it appears listed in the scratch pad. I'm going to repeat the same process for the notes E, G sharp and C the octave up. With the notes captured and now listed in the trackpad, we can begin building our instrument. First, click on Zones and drag the note C onto the key C2. An easy way of setting the root note is to simply double click here and type it in. Setting the range for our note is quick and easy. Simply resize the blue box to set a zone. We'll set C2 as the first note of our zone and D sharp as the last. You could drag this one C note across the entire keyboard but you won't achieve the same realism as mapping out a handful of different notes. Let's go ahead and repeat the same process for the other notes listed in the scratch pad. So now we have a very basic sampled guitar. Let's take a listen. At this stage, I'd like to tweak a few things, so let's click on sound. I'd like to increase the release times so the notes ring out and decrease the attack so that the notes cut through. To do this, simply shift click to highlight all the sound layers before adjusting the parameters. This allows you to make changes across all sound layers at once, opposed to individually tweaking layers. Let's go ahead and save this instrument. Clicking Save As brings up the Preset Details box where we can enter a name for the instrument and also add some tags. Leaving Save Audio Preview checked will generate an audio preview that can be auditioned from within the browser. The overall sound of this guitar is very raw and dry. I'm going to make it sound a little more interesting by loading a rack preset I've created. This rack contains a selection of plugins from Waveform 10's new Artisan collection. Let's now trigger our guitar instrument with this MIDI clip. That's sounding much nicer. Now if we'd like to recall this instrument, including the effects, we can do so by saving it to track loop format. To do that, simply right click on the track, select save preset, and then select whole track. Again, we can name it and tag as necessary. Our 
Our sampled guitar, along with its effects, can now be bought into any project with just a few clicks of the mouse. From the browser, we can quickly audition it before simply dragging it into the edit. Selecting Insert Track from Preset will import the multi sampler, MIDI clip, and rack. As you've seen, the multi sampler is capable of quickly creating instruments directly from live sources. This video, however, just scraped the surface of what's possible. By employing the round robin and velocity range functionality, users can add a whole new dimension of realism to their sampled instruments. Thanks for watching.